How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to plastic dip your rims on your car. Now plastic dipping your rims is pretty easy, but it is definitely a faster way and a quicker way, a cheaper way to actually fix curb rashes and scratches on your wheels. For me, aftermarket rims really set off a car from the whole entire scene, so definitely keeping them clean and keeping them looking pristine is definitely the way to go. So without further ado, I'm going to tell you all the materials you're going to need and how to do this process with me as I turn these black wheels here into a burnt copper alloy color. Let's get it. Here are all the materials you're going to need to be doing this project. You don't need all these materials necessarily, but having these materials will make the job a lot easier and will make it a quicker and a better experience for you. First off, what you're going to be starting with is a wheel cleaner or an all-purpose cleaner. With me, I have simple green here and a microfiber cloth. Next, if you're like me and want to do it really clean, I suggest getting a set of index cards. These are pretty cheap. It's going to make it a lot easier for you to actually paint the wheels without getting the paint or the plastic dip on the tires. Next, you're going to need your base. I chose black plastic dip because black makes it look a lot better and I've seen a lot of YouTube videos with black on it, especially Fonzie from DipYourCar.com. Next, you're going to need your top coat. Right here is the Dip Pearl. This is actually a, the burnt copper alloy that's going to go over the black base coat. So yeah, this is what the color of your rims are going to look like after you're finished. So the first thing I'm going to do is definitely clean the wheels first before your first base coat. Now when you drive or when you brake, you're going to get a lot of debris and a lot of brake dust on your rims and you wouldn't want that under your base coat or your Plasti Dip. So what I can recommend is getting your all-purpose cleaner, your rag, just spritz it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, you'll get a lot of the debris out from the rim. Now what I'm going to do since I moved up the car, since I do live in a tandem garage, I'm going to jack up the back of the car, take off both back wheels, and I'm going to set it right here where I can get started on the first base coat. Now that we have everything set up, it's time to do your first base coat. What I recommend is doing five base coats or five layers of black plastic dip before you even get to the color of your wheels. So that's what we're going to do now, light coats, just so that it builds up over time and it'll get thicker along the way. So first base coat, make it light, uh, go over it a few times and then just wait 15 minutes. After that, let it settle and then you can go on to the next level. Alright, so after you have your base coats laid out, then it's time to actually put the color in. What I have is a dip pearl, which is the burnt copper alloy. Uh, I had to switch outfits because it's actually the next day. I messed up the first day because it was actually like super bumpy on the, on the base coat. So what I did is I just took it off and restarted today. So yeah, let's get started with this. Two, three light coats to start off the color, and then do three to six, three to five heavy coats, just so that it actually shines. So that's what we're gonna do. As you can tell, with just a little bit of that in the first coat, you can see that it starts to start flaking too. It's starting to turn a little bit more copper. I guess after three heavy coats of your color, you're pretty much done. You can keep going with the heavier coats if you really want to get like a lighter look. But I think these look pretty much perfect in the way that I want it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it off, put it back on the car, jack up the fronts, take those off, do those, and then we'll do some cinematic shots of what it looks like. Let's go.
Well, there it is, you guys. That's how you plastic dip your wheels from black to a burnt copper alloy color. Hope you guys like the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys like it. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.